How's it going guys? It's your boy Skeda, welcome to my crib. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Skeda, I produce electronic music, I make free sample packs and of course I make YouTube videos. If you want to learn new things, expand your creativity or just entertain yourself, then make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss anything, yeah. Real quick before we start, let me know if you have any ideas for a future video or any production tip that you would like to share with everyone. So guys, in today's video, as you saw in the intro, I'm gonna show you how to make an insane TR out minatory bass inside the faceplant for the first time ever. I'm very excited about this one, so with a lot of talking guys, let's dive into the project. So guys, this is the project, yeah. As you see there is an after process here, I'm gonna show you everything, don't worry. And if you don't have Ableton, don't worry, you can always use third party VSTs or your native VSTs effects, I don't know, and have all, almost the same sound, yeah. I can't guarantee for the exact same sound if you don't have Ableton Live, but something pretty similar or maybe even better. Okay, so let's start with the face plant. The first thing we do is we open a wave table, okay? I'm assuming that you know the basics of a face plan. If you don't know them, go watch a video explaining the basics, how you open oscillators, effects and all that, okay? Because in this video I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna explain how you do everything from zero. So the first thing you're gonna do, you, you open a wave table and you choose Neuron from Grouse, okay? You set the frame at 108 after that and technically you don't do anything else, okay? This is it for here. After that, you open a filter. You choose the, the low pass, cut off at 281 Hz, Q at 0 0.707 and this is it. After that, another filter using, uh, I can't remember, can't really remember how you call that, whatever, doesn't matter. You pressing that button here, right here and the cutoff at 1.12 kilohertz, okay. The Q at 0 0.707 and the gain at minus 2.6 dB. After that, Another filter with a notch, okay, cut off at 61.7 Hz, Q at 0 0.707, the same as the previous one. Then we open a distortion, we choose hard clip, we drive at plus 9.91 dB. Bias at zero, spread at zero, mix 100%. And then we have our output, okay? Gain at minus 12.04 dB. After that, after the output, we open again an analog oscillator. We don't do anything. The only thing we have to do is Plus, press the plus button here and go to the wavetable frequency of the first oscillator. Okay, here the shift and make it minus 9%. Okay, this is it for the oscillator stuff. After that, we have to open an LFO and an envelope. In the LFO, you set sync at two fourths. Okay, we trigger on, make a shine, uh, take a shine with a sine wave table and give it a shape like that. Okay, something like that. You can freeze the video and make it exactly as it is. Okay, after that, you open an envelope and this is the settings, attack 0, decay at 100ms, sustain all the way up, release at 0. Now, we have to set our LFO and the envelope, okay? 
The first thing we do with the LFO is send it to the drive here at the distortion at minus 47%. After that we go to the cutoff above the distortion, the filter at 30%. After that we go to the gain let's see the gain is at the second filter the gain okay and we set it at 74 percent and the cut off of the second filler again at minus 22 percent and after that the cut off of the first filter at 60 percent okay after that we go to the envelope and we have the ladder filter cut off the ladder filter is a filter i have inside here this is it well Let's go first to the effects and then I'm gonna go back to it to show it to you, okay? Let's say that we're done with all this. Let's go now to the effects. We start with the lane one and we open an ensemble six voices, detune 84%, spread 50%, and mix 35%. And the motion is at random, okay? After that, Open a fatturator and turn it off. This is the settings. Drive 20%, fuzz 27%, color 50 Hz, mix 100%. Okay. Turn it off. After that, we, we open a dispenser. Dispenser amount 32, pinch at 0.50 and at 130 Hz. After that, we go to the lane 2. We open a comb filter at 1.74 kHz, polarity at minus, stereo on, and mix 54%. Frequency shifter minus 50 Hz, phaser cutoff at 1.28 kHz, rate at 0.05 Hz, depth at 0%. Order at free, at free, spread fifty per forty eight percent. Okay, whatever. Mix forty eight percent. Ladder filter with cutoff at two hundred eighty five hertz. Saturate on drive zero. Yeah, almost zero. Okay, yeah zero. Bias zero. Resonance at twelve percent. And we choose here transistor. And now we go to the envelope and we set the ladder filter cutoff at 60%, okay? We press the plus button right here and then we go to the cutoff and set it at 60%. After that we go to the lane 3, snaphead. We choose the chore pincher, which is at the modulation, the first one, okay? Grain size 100%, jitter at 17%, micro shift 100%, dry wet 100%. Slice EQ, bus line taming, factory, the second one, bus line taming. Okay, offset 0, gain 0, mix 100%. Pitch shifter at minus 3, grain size at ATMS, mix 100%, color rate on. Okay, and this is it for inside the face plant. Now we have to go outside of the face plant and do a couple of things in order to achieve this perfect sound. Also, don't forget with the saturator on, the sound changes a little bit and it becomes more minatory. This is it without the saturator. And this is with the saturator. It gives that, how should I say it, that noise, that white noise that we use usually in the minatory genre, okay? So, keep it off if you want it more tear out, keep it on if you want it more minatory. Simple. Now, outside of a face plant, we have to open an OTT. If you don't have Ableton, you can use the OTT from the x Records, I think it's for free download, or use an OTT from the DAO that you use, I don't know, whatever. An OTT, 
and 7 dB output, nothing else changed. After that, a phaser. The only thing that I changed here, the frequency at 6, 75 Hz and feedback at 0. Okay, this is a dot, you have to bring it here at 6, 675 Hz, nothing else. A flanger at delay, with delay time at 1.79 ms and feedback at 0.52, okay? Nothing else changed here. A saturator that I have it off, but if you want it, analog clip and 100%, nothing else. An EQ8 with the first, at the first one at 100 Hz. Okay, 100 hertz. The second one at 323 hertz, gain 0 0.75 dB to 0 0.71 dB. Okay, and notes here with the number 3 464 hertz, all the way down the dB and Q at 0 0.89. The next one is at 1.78 kilohertz gain at 8.80 dB and Q at 0.59 and the fourth and final in the EQ8 at 4.64 kilohertz almost 0 dB Q at 71 okay after that a min rate fattener all you have to do is open a saturator and choose the mid-range fattener at the effect, okay? It's a, it's a preset, technically. And just follow these settings, if you don't have it. A compressor, nothing, no big deal here. 2 to 1, 2 ms, 50 ms, 0 0.70, 0 0.24, minus 24.7, I'm sorry guys, 0 dB, a small delay, 12 ms and 1 ms, nothing else. Uh, reverb, don't use it, we, you don't need it. And a limiter, okay, at 8.5 dB. I know this is too much if you don't have Ableton, but if you don't have Ableton, the ideas that I can give you is use very good OTT and distortion. Believe me, these are the two effects that make the most of a difference, okay? OTT and a really great distortion, hard clip, whatever you have, okay? So guys, that was the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you like this video, share it with your friends, if you know anyone who uses face Faceplant and she likes Minatory and or TR out, I don't know. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed it. Guys, see you next time, it's your boy Skeda.